This is a short film uh, entitled Mute, and it's uh, about a young man named Albert who suffers from hyperacusis, which is basically a hypersensitivity to all sound. It, it basically means that he can't function as a normal person. He can't go outside, just pop down to the shops because traffic is unbearable to be near. Like cars flying by is just like a rocket going past. Even in his own home, he suffers from it, like noisy neighbours or people passing by in the hall or traffic outside. But he's also a, uh, a scientific genius, uh, and he has created a device which itself creates an energy bubble. And inside the energy bubble, all sound is muted. So he's hoping to create like a silent sanctuary within his own apartment to uh, to help him deal with his problem. One of the few uh, good things in Albert's life is his neighbour Sylvia. She's a musician. She her whole life is music and. She loves nothing more than playing her violin and all sorts of different instruments, and she writes music, and that's kind of what keeps her going. She, that's what she loves to do the most, and uh, actually, it's what Albert loves the most too. In his apartment, when he's uh, having trouble because he can't relax, he can still hear everything outside. Her music is the one thing that kind of makes everything else disappear, and he loves it, and it's. His favourite thing is probably the reason he loves her. So Albert plucks up the courage to approach Sylvia and basically tell her his feelings towards her. But when he does, it kind of backfires on him um, through a misunderstanding. And his reaction to that um, has some big consequences. It, it's definitely more a story about uh, the characters and the relationship and, and the, the romance between them. Yeah. And then secondly, it's, it's, a, it's a sci-fi story. It's the, the sci-fi element pushes and pulls the relationship. The story has a lot of depth to it, a lot more feeling to it than you might expect something like this to have, basically. It's a great story and a great kind of performances that deserves to be made in the best way possible. We need it to look gorgeous. We need the visual effects to be fantastic, the music is is definitely going to be uh, well, beautiful, really. And so... Um, to that end, yeah, we, uh, we, we require funding exactly to make uh, Muse as, as great as it can possibly be. Your, your generosity yes. is going to make this film happen. The camera equipment, the, the lighting, the main device itself needs building, so that's prop production and there's going to be other props as well. Location hire, locations, catering. insurance, catering and transport. Everyone working on this film is, is, is doing it for free, so... Yeah, we're not getting any money out of this at all. No, we're just sorry. doing it kind of for the love of the love story. Film. Yeah. What you're seeing is shots, just to give you an idea of the feel of the actual film. This is just a taster. This is just a taster, of, yeah. Of what is to come. Yeah. We have a campaign set up on Indiegogo.com and you can see the link for that right here. If you go to that page, you can see a long list of rewards and if you donate $10 or $50 or $100, there's a lot of rewards you get in, in return. So you should take a look at the list, see if there's anything you like because you kind of get your value for money for it. Absolutely, yeah. Um, it, it is in dollars, so everyone in Europe or well, any, anywhere outside of America is still quick currency conversion conversion thing so you know exactly what it is that you you're giving to us we would like to thank you in advance yes thanks for, for sitting much. down to watch this video yes. and for any help you might give us online yes we we are poor little starving sci-fi fans and um we do appreciate we just, it. Tell, we just want to tell a love story with a bit of sci-fi in it with a bit of sci-fi in it so yeah. men can watch it too yeah and women, but also men. Yeah, because it's sci-fi. Uh, watch out for Mute in 2013. That's right. The end. Done.